We now connect you. Please hold while I confirm your passcode. Thank you. Your passcode is confirmed. When you hear the tone, you will be the 35th person to join the meeting. Like Daniel, that says to you. Well, I'm on a landline, so I don't have an option to mute it. No, you don't. A lot of conference call numbers have a number you can put to mute, but it's usually five. Good evening, everybody. This is Jill from the campaign. We'll get started in just a moment. If you have the ability or know how to mute your telephone, I would ask that you do that. Um, or if you don't, if you're on a landline, uh, if you're in a quiet area, that works great, but I know it's a busy time of evening for everybody. Uh, you may have kids or, or pets and all of that in the background. So we'll get started in just a moment. and do appreciate you being with us. Win Iowa in the November general election. So uh, the first 
accept all that with the naming of Jill Newhaver as our state campaign director. Uh, Jill's no stranger to Iowa. She's actually a uh, roots from Illinois. Uh, she spent a lot of time here in 2007 and 2008 when she worked on the Mitt Romney campaign then. She's also worked with uh, Senator Johnny Isaacson from Georgia, Governor Chris Christie from New Jersey, uh, Senator Scott Brown from uh, uh, Massachusetts, Elvin Lamontine from New Hampshire, and most recently had uh, served as the Deputy Romney Director for the victorious uh, New Hampshire uh, primary campaign uh, this past winter. So it's terrific to welcome Jill back to Iowa, and really excited to have her leading the effort day to day managing the campaign from Des Moines. And Jill, just to begin, she'll, she'll talk to you more about the plans uh, to, to build up the operation here in Iowa. But with that, I'd like to have a call with Jill. Jill. Thank you, Brian, and thank you, David. You guys have been such tremendous assets to our campaign here. Uh, they are valuable resources for us and, and names and faces that many of you on the call know. Um, and if you don't, I'm sure that you will get to know over the course of the next six months. Um, as uh, Brian said, I'm, I'm pleased to return to Iowa. I uh, was here in 2008. I've been and know a lot of faces from the southwestern portion of the state. Uh, I look forward to meeting all of you as we, we travel across the state together. Uh, with, uh, with that, we are beginning to ramp up our operations here in Iowa. There is certainly no time to wait. Uh, the election is less than six months from today. Um, and with that, we've brought several familiar faces back. David Cottrell is obviously still on the ground with us. Luke Marks, uh, who many of you know out in the field, uh, will return for our general election campaign uh, to, to kind of lead that effort for us on the ground. Um, Stephanie Williams, by way of Boston and New Hampshire and several other states between New Hampshire and today, um, will be handling all of our events that the governor and Mrs. Romney uh, and, our, and our major surrogates do in state, uh, so you'll get to meet her as well. Uh, we will be raising up for a full field team, a full operation, uh, because Iowa is a critical swing state. We've seen uh, what it can do uh, for President Obama in the caucus uh, in 2008. Uh, we've seen a lot of attention shared on this state uh, during the caucus and after the caucus process and all the way through. And Iowa's importance really can't be understated. So we will be bringing the full resources of our campaign to bear here in Iowa. So many faces will be coming on and we'll be sure to keep you abreast of those hires as they happen. Hand in glove with that, our campaign will be working directly with the Republican National Committee and their victory operations here in Iowa. Uh, the RNC was proud to announce today the hiring of Ryan Gooch as the victory director for Iowa. We look forward to working with him and his operation to ensure victory not only for Governor Romney, but also for the entire Republican ticket. Um, and just as equally important uh, as coming out of a primary is making sure that we are a unified front going into the general election. Uh, so we're pleased to have many of you from, uh, who may have had a, a different uh, candidate in the primary process uh, who are coming on board uh, with our Republican ticket today. Uh, and we're very excited in that same thing to have Mike Fiendo on the call. Uh, Mike was Senator Santorum's national campaign manager and is accepted a position on our campaign uh, in our coalition shop in Boston. Um, and asked him to join us this evening to speak a little bit about that. Mike? Well, thank you, Joe. Just, uh, just quickly, because I know we're we're short on time. Um, after the after the senator uh, dropped out of the race, well, suspended his campaign on on April 10th. Uh, I was uh, contacted by uh, Matt Rhodes, who's the campaign manager for for Mitt Romney, and Rich Beeson, who's the national political director, and asked if I would be interested in coming on board in a sign of the unification to work on the coalitions. Uh, having come off a uh, you know a long campaign, I wanted and uh, spent a lot of time with Rick Santorum. I, I wanted to make sure that it was okay with Rick. Rick gave me his full blessing. I uh, had a couple other meetings with uh, with both Matt and Rich, and uh, happy to be part of the team. Uh, everybody understands that, uh, that the primary process happens. Uh, we had spirited uh, elections, but now it's the time to come together, as uh, Rick said last night. And uh, for a common purpose to defeat uh, Barack Obama in, in November, we cannot uh, have another four years. And that's why I'm, I'm proud to be part of this team. Uh, getting to know the folks, uh, we have a great uh, group of folks that work for 
for, for Mitch and uh, looking forward to uh, to a uh, winning Iowa and uh, winning the country in November. Uh, with that, um, if you have any Rick Santorum supporters that are on the teetering or on the fence, uh, folks that you think that uh, you need help with, uh, let me uh, give you out my email address so you can get in touch with me. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to reach out to folks and talk with them. Uh, let them know why I joined the team. Uh, let them know why Rick Santorum endorsed Mitt Romney. Uh, my email address is my first initial, which is M. My last name, which is Biondo. That is spelled B as in boy. I, U, N as in national, D as in David O, at MittRomney.com. That's M, B as in boy, I, U, N as in national, D as in David O, at MittRomney.com. Please let me know if I can be any assistance to, to you. With that, I'll turn it back over to Joe. Great, thank you so much, Mike. Uh, we, are, we are so fortunate to have him. He is a, a tremendous asset to our campaign. Uh, we look forward to his special relationship with Iowa and working with him here on the ground. Um, with that, I wanted to put on your radar a couple of things. One, um, Ambassador John Bolton is going to be the headline uh, speaker at the Polk County GOP on May 24th. Uh, he's been with, uh, with the governor's campaign for some time now. We're really excited to welcome him back to Iowa. Um, so if you haven't already marked your calendar for the Polk County GOP dinner, please do so. May 24th, you won't want to miss it, so please plan on joining us there. Um, if you're not already following uh, Mitt on Facebook, I would encourage you to do that, uh, to like him, rather, on Facebook. Uh, because one of the things you're going to see there with increased frequency is his upcoming television and radio program, Hit. Uh, we want to do a better job about letting you know when he's going to be on these programs, especially when they're radio in your area. Uh, so if you haven't already, please go to facebook.com backslash Romney and like him there, uh, because you'll get to see all the Iowa-specific events, that, uh, events and, and radio and television that he'll be doing um, as they come down the pike. Uh, in that same vein, I want to underscore how important Iowa is to us. Uh, Iowa obviously has a unique place in the presidential contest, but that carries into the general election. It's long been a swing state, uh, and it is one that we expect to play a large part in determining who the next president of the United States will actually be. Uh, and because of that, you're going to see a lot of Mitt, you're going to see a lot of Mrs. Romney, you're going to see a lot of his sons that are surrogates, uh, and we fully plan to invest here and run a complete ground game, and that includes the best of the governor. So, uh, please be aware that these things are going to be coming down the pipe, and we're excited about more commitment to, to your area. So I know everybody has lots of questions, uh, but first and foremost, I wanted to hit some of the, the common themes that people have coming to us. Uh, one of the ways that you can be helpful to us right off the bat is letting us know about the things, the events that are going to be happening in your area, because we are in your community. You are our the, uh, representatives of your community, and to tell us what's going on. Uh, there, and we'd like to know so that they can have a presence there, whether or not it's bringing the governor directly or having a campaign representative or a booth or a table or whatever the event may be. Those are really important to us. So it might be a GOP event that happens every fall or every summer. It might be a community-based event. It's, it's the fair, it's the, the, uh, the, the old home game. Uh, it might be a civic. It might be the Rotary-sponsored parade or the Rotary Club or, or any of those things that are part of your community. They're things that we'd like to know about. Uh, so please communicate that to us. We'd love to hear from you via email. Our email is team, T-E-A-M, I-A, as in Iowa, at mitromney.com, team, I, mitromney.com. If you received the invitation for this uh, conference call this evening via email, it came from that address, so all you have to do is reply to get back to us. Uh, we'd love to know about the red letter events that are going on in your community. Um, one of the other things that we'd love to open a two-way dialogue with you about is what you're going to see filling your mailboxes and your, your email boxes and your, your voicemail boxes uh, as, the, as the campaign season unfolds. Uh, don't assume that just because you know that you got a piece of mail from President Obama in your mailbox or received a telephone call or even heard that, that a major surrogate or Mrs. Obama or someone like that was going to be coming um, uh, into your community, don't assume that we've heard about it. Uh, we'd love to get that intel from you. Uh, certainly phone calls that you receive aren't just always persuasion. There are people who are, are trying to find out about your political persuasion. Um, and we would be interested in knowing 
emailing uh, any calls that you receive um, that you think might be able to pollster um, or, or try to conduct the poll. Those are things that are very useful to us. Uh, so please let us know about that. Let us know kind of who paid for that call or as much information as you can collect. All of that is very valuable information to us. Now, you may be asking, but what do I get for this? What, what do I get? Well, yard signs and bumper stickers and all of that good stuff is coming very, very soon. The orders have been placed, and we'll be sure to let you know as soon as it arrives. The thing that we're going to need from you, though, is to know where the, where the best locations are, especially from four by eight. Those are something, those farm signs are a valuable part of any campaign, um, and we need to know where the best locations really are. So, Mr. Smith down the corner of Main Street that always lets the Republicans throw up their signs, uh, that's something important for us to know as well, and nobody knows your community better than you. Uh, so please let us know about those things because we want to become a part of your community as well. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for yard signs and bumper stickers, you can email us. We'll be happy to get those things to you just as soon as they become available. Please don't hesitate to contact us. Um, another way that you can get involved, uh, especially to make that local impact, is a letter to the editor. Uh, your local paper, those are, are avenues for, for publication and for publicity that really are still active and working. A lot of them are published online. So we want to encourage you to, to write a letter to your editor to talk about the fact that you saw things that were on the editor event last week or that you heard President Obama's most recent speech and you know that it's not the way to bring jobs back to America or to turn this economy around. That President Obama has had his opportunity and he has failed us. Uh, those are important ways to communicate that to your peers, members of your community that you may not otherwise have contact with, so we'd like to encourage you to do that. Any way that you feel that you're interested in getting involved with our campaign or the way that we want to, to interact with you. Uh, lots of ways to do that, include, including following us um, in our events and our progress online, midromney.com. Click on states and follow the map down the aisle. That will be a situation. <laughs> MidRomney.com is a central location for finding out all of our Iowa contact information uh, and ways that you can get involved. So I know that you oh. Hello? Hello? Kate, what you just said about MidRomney.com? Short thing. MidRomney.com. If you go to MidRomney.com, you can click on State and follow that down to Iowa. And that will bring you to the central place for all of our contact information by telephone and email, um, all the upcoming events, ways to volunteer, uh, to volunteer, all of that information is right there. So please do use that as a resource as well. And our office has not yet been open, so we'd be glad to see a couple of questions before we have to close the line. Uh, our office is not yet open, but we will sure to be sure to let you know when that does happen. It will happen uh, much sooner rather than later. Uh, and expect to see that happening in the next uh, couple of weeks.
come to an end. Thank you. Thank you.